Elon Musk launched SpaceX, which unveiled the revolutionary Raptor 3 engine, representing a significant advance in space travel. The Starship spaceship is about to undergo a revolution owing to its much-awaited propulsion technology, taking it to previously unimaginable heights. The Raptor 3 engine's remarkable strength and efficiency open up a world of opportunities, enabling bold missions and previously unthinkable scientific advancements. That's not all, though. As they reveal designs for a massive space station, SpaceX's goal grows even further. This station will provide limitless options for study, habitation, and the development of human presence in space. Since 2019, SpaceX has been working aggressively on the Starship launch vehicle. Every component of a spacecraft and the rocket has been tested and improved over the years to create a dependable machine that could one day go to orbit and beyond. On April 20th, SpaceX conducted the first fully integrated test flight at its Starbase facility at Boca Chica Beach, Texas, giving engineers the chance to collect crucial data on the Raptor engine and the stainless steel rocket ship. Although the spacecraft did not enter orbit, the four-minute flight, which took it approximately 40 kilometers above the Earth, was sufficient for engineers to determine what they would need to change to enter orbit. The Super Heavy rocket launched with the force of at least 30 out of 33 Raptor V2 engines during that initial attempt to circle the Earth. Methalox, a mixture of cryogenic liquid methane and liquid oxygen, is the fuel used by Raptors. The Raptor version 2 engine, which SpaceX advertises as having more power, fewer parts, was installed in this Starship prototype, making it lighter in bulk than the Raptor version 1 engine. V1 has a mass of 2,000 kilograms, whilst V2 has a mass of 1,600 kg. V2 also has less obvious piping and wiring, although both sea level versions have the same nozzle exit diameter and similar proportions. The current Raptor V2 produces around 230 tons of thrust, compared to about 185 tons for the Raptor one. By adding fewer components, the company was able to increase performance thrust while also shortening the manufacturing process, which is crucial for being able to one day construct a fleet of hundreds of starships to establish bases on the Moon and Mars. Elon Musk, the creator of SpaceX, tweeted that the third generation of the Raptor engine, V3, has achieved a record-breaking thrust. He also congratulated the SpaceX propulsion team after the Raptor V3 surpassed a chamber pressure of 350 bars. He stated that the Starship Super Heavy Booster has 33 Raptors, giving it a total thrust of 8,877 tons or 19.5 million pounds on May 13th. The Starship is set to surpass all previous rockets in power. Let's compare the Raptor V3's improved power to that of the Saturn V, the rocket that carried the NASA Apollo astronauts to the surface of the Moon and produced 7.6 million pounds of thrust. Saturn V, however, is no longer in use. Instead, NASA created the Space Launch System, a new rocket with a maximum thrust of 8.8 .8 million pounds. The functioning rocket, according to NASA, exerted more power than any rocket ever when it launched in November 2022. With a liftoff thrust of 19.5 million pounds, SpaceX's Starship Super Heavy is predicted to dethrone the SLS as soon as it reaches orbit. Upgraded spacecraft is being prepared by SpaceX engineers for the company's next orbital flight test attempt this year. At an average production rate of one Raptor engine per day as of November 2022, SpaceX had finished producing over 200 Raptor engines. The engines are built and tested in the McGregor facility by the firm. Officials from SpaceX recently stated that they now have more engines than they can fly. With each Raptor Vi-3 capable of producing 260 tons of force, SpaceX hopes to keep the cost per ton of thrust around $1,000, or a little over $250,000. Recently, Musk stated that he anticipates spending around $2 billion on Starship's development this year. Some of the greatest names in aerospace, like Northrop Grumman and Blue Origin, are competing in the race to develop a replacement for the ailing International Space Station. Now, a practically unheard of new competitor aspires to surpass them all by launching a station into orbit, where it may welcome its first human by the end of 2025. In a little more than two years, the first commercial space station might be launched into Earth's orbit. 
According to a May 10th press release from the California-based company Vast Space and SpaceX, Haven 1 will launch on a Falcon 9 rocket no earlier than August 2025. The Vast 1 mission, a four-person excursion to the new station that might stay up to 30 days, will immediately follow that initial trip. Vast 1 will also take off on a Falcon 9, with its crew members traveling in a SpaceX Dragon vehicle. Vast was just established two years ago. As McCaleb's remarks imply, it is also quite eager. The organization's long-term objective is to operate a 100-meter-long multi-module spinning artificial gravity space station that will be launched by SpaceX's Starship launch vehicle. Starship, the most powerful rocket ever built, has completed its first flight while still in the building phase. On Vast One, the company is offering up to four seats for sale. The cost of the tickets has not been made public, similar to what it did with Axe One, a private journey to the International Space Station conducted by Houston-based company Axiom Space. In April 2022, SpaceX will offer astronaut training, spacesuits, and other similar services for the mission. One of the private outposts now under construction is Haven One, which, if all goes according to plan, will eventually be included as a module in a bigger space station. For instance, in the upcoming years, Axiom Space expects to launch several modules to the ISS. Then this complex will separate and transform into a free-flying outpost. And in late 2021, NASA gave three commercial teams led by Blue Origin, NanoRacks, and Northrop Grumman a combined $415 million in funding. Before the ISS shuts down at the end of 2030, the space agency wants at least one commercial station to be operational in low Earth orbit. A new era of scientific discovery is ushered in by the expanded research opportunities provided by commercial space stations. These innovative systems offer a microgravity environment that uncovers special insights and opens access to a variety of study fields. Scientists can do experiments that explore the basic physics rules under microgravity. Researchers may examine topics like quantum physics, fluid dynamics, and the behavior of particles at a degree of accuracy not possible on Earth by removing the distracting effects of gravity. These discoveries might fundamentally alter how we think about the cosmos and pave the way for new developments in areas like quantum computing and materials research. In space, there is no gravity, thus materials harden, crystallize, and form structures differently. A special environment is provided by commercial space stations for research into the manufacturing of sophisticated metals, semiconductors, and medications with enhanced qualities. This study may result in improved medicine formulations, lighter and stronger materials, and more productive production procedures. Studying the impact of reduced gravity on biological processes under microgravity offers a useful platform to better understand fundamental processes like cell development, gene expression, and aging. Researchers may investigate how cells, tissues, and organisms adapt to and act in space. This study has significance for comprehending human health, creating more potent medications, and creating long-duration space travel plans. An attractive vantage point for astronomical observations is provided by commercial space stations. Researchers can study celestial objects, witness cosmic occurrences, and gain insights into the universe's beginnings and development when their views of the cosmos are unobscured by Earth's atmosphere. The study of alien life and astrophysics can both benefit from these discoveries. In a nutshell, the increased research opportunities made possible by commercial space stations bring a multitude of potential in a variety of scientific fields. Advancements in fundamental physics, material science, life sciences, space-based observations, and technological demonstrations are all accelerated by the special microgravity environment, which reveals new discoveries. These findings might change the industry, advance human health, and increase our knowledge of the cosmos, all of which would be advantageous to society as a whole.